Hi, I'm Michelle Billetier from the NPR Digital Services Station Analytics team. Here's a training on the Google Analytics custom variables that are included in the Station Analytics system and how to report on them. Custom variables are additional dimensions that allow you to refine your Google Analytics tracking. Standard dimensions include page URL, page title, source, and browser, or the many other elements that are available under the left navigation in the Google Analytics standard reports. Custom variables allow us to track any additional data that we choose. Author, tags and keywords, page type, category, Related program are all custom variables that are sent to Google Analytics in addition to the default tracking when using the Station Analytics system tag. To understand how to find custom variables in reports, it's helpful to understand the elements and syntax. Google Analytics syntax for custom variables is as follows. This includes an index a numeric value that instructs Google Analytics where to store the information. This is also referred to as slot. A name, a text value that tells the users what data is contained in this slot or index. A value, a numeric or text string that contains descriptive information. And the scope which identifies to Google at what level to store and report the information. It indicates if this data is about a page, a session, or a user. To better understand slot, name, and value, it can be helpful to think of a file cabinet. Each slot is a drawer, or the location where the information is stored. Slot 11 contains both keys and values. The name, or key, is the folder inside of the drawer that has the information that you are looking for. A single drawer can contain many folders with different information. In this case, key 11 contains author, indicating that the values will be author names. The value of the actual information in value 11 contains Ned Ryerson, or the name of the author. The Station Analytics System tag currently tracks a number of custom variables listed on this slide. Page type is listed as dynamic because it uses regular expression matching that is configured in the Station Analytics System setup to determine the appropriate page type for a given page based on the URL. Other variables use meta tags that are included in the page to capture values. For example, if keywords is populated as a meta tag on a page, the system will automatically capture that information and send it into Google Analytics. Standard Google Analytics enables you to track in slots one through five. Stations may use these however they like without danger of conflicting with the custom configurations in the station analytics tracking. Custom variables 6 through 50 are added with Google Analytics Premium. We ask that if you require the use of additional custom variables, you please contact us to determine which slot is most appropriate for your use. Please remember that sending data to the same slot as another piece of information can cause data to be overwritten, and it is important, therefore, to avoid conflicts. Now that we understand how custom variables are populated and stored, we can build a report on these custom variables. It's important to remember that only the variables in slots one through five are available in standard reporting, although in some cases they can be added as secondary dimensions in existing standard reports. To build a new custom report, we'll need to access the customization tab and click on New Custom Report. Our first step will be to give the report a name and then select the report type. Selecting Explorer allows you to create a clickable drill down report 
where a flat table will allow you to create a list with all values and combinations shown. In this case, we'll select flat table to create a list of all the values for a single dimension and a report with all combinations of two dimensions. First, we'll start by selecting a single dimension. Here, we've searched for the word value because the information we want to display is the values rather than the keys for these custom variables. Selecting custom variable value 11 allows us to build an author report. Adding page allows us to build a combination of every article that is written for each author. Please keep in mind that you'll need to select metrics carefully as not all metrics are valid for each data item. For example, visits should never be used for page level reports. Instead, you'll want to use unique page views. Adding a filter can make your report more specific and help to ensure that you get the data you're expecting. In this case, we will only receive data for when the key was set to author. Keep in mind that these filters are saved in the report definition and are applied to the report each time it runs. You can also use the filter box once the report is run for a more flexible filter. You can add the template for this report directly to your Google Analytics account by accessing the bit.ly link listed here, or you can visit ds.npr.org for more resources on how to add templates to your account. These include a member station KPI dashboard featuring many of the custom variables we've covered today, which can be accessed at the bit.ly link on this slide. Once you click these links, you'll have a dialog box which will ask you which view you would like to apply the report template to. Keep in mind that no data is shared in this template, merely the outline for the information. Here are some additional links that may be of value to you. Thank you very much for your time today, and I hope this was helpful. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the presentation. If you're interested in more, sign up at analytics.nprstations.org.